Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, uh, fantastic game offensively for us. Um, you know, there's being in shape, and then there's being in basketball shape. And so I think what people got to realize is that yesterday, like our defense was pretty good. We missed a lot of shots that we normally make, and that's a function of not having played a game in whatever it was, 18 days, 19 days, whatever it was. So you get your legs under you, and now all of a sudden the shots that you normally make go in, right, and now you can set your defense. So I think that's the first part of it. Um, second part of it is, you know, our kids got a lot of heart, and it's a passionate group, but this is, this is a group that – um, really likes playing for one another. And I give a lot of credit to Scoop. You know, Scoop pulled a 1 of 10 yesterday from the floor. She's the leading – she has the, 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 the top field goal percentage in the conference. And she said in the locker room, she's like, we're not playing like that again today. And she came in, get, got extra shots up, set the tone. And then the other part of it too is, you know, obviously Keanu Jeter Mel is a superstar. Uh, Aaliyah Nelson's also a superstar. She just needs to believe it. And that's what we told her is, is, is you're a superstar. You're an incredible shooter. You're an incredible player. Shoot the ball. And so I think that's what you saw from her today. I think she had, what, four threes in the first quarter, you know, uh, five for the game or six for the game, whatever it was. Um, and and that's, what, that's what carried us today is the tone that both Scoop and Aaliyah set for us. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting component because um, one of the things that we've been tracking the whole season nationally, uh, Jazz, our assistant Dobo, has been actually tracking back-to-backs over the court, over every conference because I wanted to see how it played out. Were there going to be sweeps, mostly home sweeps, mostly road sweeps, mostly splits? The majority of games in any conference have been splits. And the same is held true for here in the CAA, that has been splits. I think we're the third sweep. I think Delaware swept Hofstra and then Drexel swept UNCW. So the reason why the sweep is so important, right, and, and, and how you handle the back-to-backs is you really don't have to change much, Okay. All you got to do is improve on the things that you didn't do great the previous game and do the things that worked well for you in, in, in the first game and maybe adjust. One of those adjustments today you saw was Ali Kubek in foul trouble. You know, Nari Dodson uh, gave us, you know, 16 minutes, you know, 2.4 re- rebounds, m- modest stats, but she was plus 16 off the bench. That's a kid who she can do a lot of different things, we talked to her before shoot around today, be ready to play. So the back to back, I don't think our kids were worried about it all that much, other than they were worried about improving upon their own performance the previous day. Defensively, uh, you know, we've, we've known you got the team to make close for 90 plus points at any given time. There's been struggles on the defensive end some games for you, but defensively today, arguably your best game of the season. Seven, uh, 14 total steals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's touch on the, the, the turnovers piece. So sometimes there's this misconception that turn, forcing turnovers come from flying around and trapping and being in passing lanes and all that. But a lot of times you can force turnovers by being disciplined. And playing disciplined defense, and obviously we played a lot of zone today. I think we played zone the, almost the entire game. We played a lot of zone today, but we played a disciplined defense. That's got to carry us through, and we've been talking about that since we came back from the, from the, uh, the, the pause, is it doesn't matter if we're in man-to-man zone, whatever it is. Our defense has got to be disciplined. we got to know who we're guarding, and then we got to know where we're supposed to be on the floor, and we got to talk about it. I think you saw that in the two games today, especially the first three quarters today, the first half yesterday, is when we play dif- disciplined defense, now we're able to dictate – what the offense is going to do. And I think you saw that today. You know, they shot 38% from the floor, uh, you know, but that's kind of a little bit even skewed because 56% in the fourth quarter, you know, previous to that, 36, 30, 22%. And I think that's where you saw that defensive discipline coming in. Also was impressed by the fact that, um, you know, we held them to seven offensive rebounds today. They only had seven offensive rebounds yesterday as well. Uh, That's really fantastic job by, by us. And credit our bigs, you know, Leak. Uh, and Bianca 
and and uh, KJ, you know, continuing to rotate them in so there's no let up and really continuing to hit the glass hard. Yeah, I mean, you know, our, our team, first of all, always has the green light. I mean, you've watched this now for four years, right? Like, if you get an open shot, shoot the ball, right? The thing about having confidence in our shooting, which we know with Aaliyah can, and Scoop, obviously, great job today shooting three as well, is now it takes all the focus off of Melo, you know? And if you look at Melo's stat line today, she had 26 points on 10 of 15 from the floor. Like, her effective field goal percentage, her efficiency is off the charts. And a lot of that is because when Aaliyah's hot to start the game, two threes to start the game, six made threes total, now you're not just loaded up on 21, right? Now you got to guard Aaliyah, scoop, now you got no answer for that. And that's what we keep talking to Aaliyah about is like, yo, you're, you're a really good player. Now that I think it was my first yo, Philly yo on camera right there. But you're a really good player. Play like it. Shoot the ball if you're open, you know? Melo's got the green light, you got the green light, and, and I think that relieved a lot of the pressure on Melo, and then you already see, I mean, Melo, you know, I, I think the majority of her shots were open shots, and how often does that happen, you know? Uh, something I noticed in the beginning of the game, kind of as Adler was talking about, Melo didn't really touch the ball in those first couple of minutes, maybe had a quick, you know, swing pass or something, but she really didn't really take a shot until a couple of minutes in. Uh, how much of that is a product of teams being worried about 21, and then you have Aaliyah, you have Scoop, you have others, you have Trubeck, whoever, yeah, I think you touched on it perfectly, is obviously every team's game plan is going to start with how do we guard Jeter, right? So that's why other players have got to be a weapon for us. And when you have a scoring point guard, okay, Sue Bird, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, Kyrie Irving, when you have a scoring point guard, it makes it very, very difficult to guard other players, right? Because the player who has the ball in her hands is the point guard and is a threat to score as well. So... The thing about Melo is Melo is an unselfish superstar, you know? Yeah, Melo scores the ball. She likes to score the ball. But she also has a great time when other players on the floor are scoring the ball as well. And she knows for this team it can't just be her shooting the ball 25 times. Now, there's going to be games where it's a dead-even game and she's going to need to create something and shoot the ball 25 times. Okay. But – when 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 Aaliyah's shooting the ball and Sky uh, Scoop is shooting the ball, you know Sky three of six from the floor. You know, I mean, we got a lot of different weapons here, and I think Mel doesn't really care. You know, who how many shots she gets, how many points she has, as long as we're winning the game, and that's a great thing about her. Uh, our pace, we picked up our pace today. I think this is the best uh, defensive game we had, especially the first half, where uh, got us the lead um, quick. Uh, before halftime, so just our pace, uh, we know what we can do. And like I said yesterday, we had to come back harder today. Yeah, you mentioned the defensive effort. I believe it was 14 <clears throat> total steals as a team, and you forced 21 total turnovers. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about that mindset. I mean, it's reminiscent of the last couple of years, too. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about how everybody was clicking today on the defensive end. Uh, yeah, everybody, you know, uh, we said it at halftime, everybody play together and we'll be all right. And that's what we did the whole game. Um, Everybody got a steal, almost. Um, everybody did a great job on the defensive end. The post players got a couple steals. They got a couple deflections, the guards, and it led to our uh, transition. And then offensively, in the very, very early moments of the game, you were kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. you know, I think you only took, like, one shot in the first couple minutes, and then it's kind of this explosion that happened. Uh, just how, how did you feel in, uh, kind of early on, and then what happened? Like, you heated up, and how far were you feeling? I mean, we, I, I got teammates that, that do the same thing, so uh, – once I get the ball in my hands and I have an opportunity to score, then I will. But as far as me scoring in the beginning, you know, Leah had the hot hand. She was shooting scoop that was doing her thing. So I let everybody uh, do their thing. We just kind of played together today. So that's what it's. Yeah, you mentioned Leah um, and scoop both with 20 plus points. Mm -hmm. you know, just knowing for you that you have those, those partners that you can rely on to score the ball as well. I mean, I think everybody scored today too. Mm -hmm. well. um, so just knowing that this was kind of a team effort offensively as well as defensively, but mm -hmm. how do you It's great. It's, it's like going back to my first and second year uh, here. So, I mean, uh, once everybody clicking, 
uh, we we finally get in that groove. We finally get in that groove. We finally get to play again. Yesterday game, today game. We got to get uh, ready for next weekend. And then uh, last question. This was your first time playing in that new CAA schedule where it was a back to back against the previous team. So it's kind of like a tournament, but kind of different, almost like a playoff series. Mm-hmm. Um, your thoughts on playing the same team on back to back? I mean, that's that's what we have to do. It's it's tough uh, on our bodies, but mentally, well, that's that's. Also, part of the mental part, uh, we just gotta we just gotta be prepared, and we plan the same team, so it's not much that uh, of a turnaround. So we just gotta uh, lock in on every player, uh, pick out what they did good, and try to separate um, the next game. So that's kind of what we did today. It felt great. Um, going into the locker room yesterday, we told each other that we weren't going to be complacent and settle for that win that we had yesterday. We knew that we were a much better team than we played out to be yesterday, and we told ourselves that we were going to blow them out today. And that's exactly what we did, and I'm proud that everybody came out and showed up. What did you tell yourself between yesterday and today? Uh, it was a tough game for you yesterday, scoring the ball, and then today 20 points. And just talk about mentally the turnaround for you to improve on your performance from yesterday. Um, I always strive to play at my best level, but um, I, unfortunately yesterday I didn't play my best game. And I um, told myself never to be complacent. So after the game, I had went to the gym at 8 p.m., me and my boyfriend Brian. Uh, we had shot until like maybe 10 o'clock, um, just worked on different moves, um, three-pointers, everything. And, you know, I came with a different level of confidence this morning and told myself that I would do better and work hard. So that's what I did. What's it like when you and all of your teammates are just hitting anything from downtown? Well, when a lot of people start making threes, it becomes contag- contagious. So one person starts making a three, then another person starts making it. It just really becomes contagious, and we're all just proud of each other. We do it in practice all the time, so we just brought it out to the game. Defensively for you, I mean, you're one of the ones who's really active in the passing lane, get your hand on the ball, um, kind of you know, get your hands on steals too as well, kind of coming from behind. Is that something that you pride yourself on as your defense and being able to kind of anticipate a pass or anticipate? Absolutely. Before I became like more of a scoring threat, um, Coach Rich really expected me to become a defensive threat, more, more so last year than anything. And I just brought that with me this year and added a little bit more tools to it. So, I mean, it's only a rollover from last year. Um, well, we started with uh, Coach Rich always starts with punch him in the mouth, get him, hit him first. So I think with our defensive intensity, I think that's really what kind of got us this win. Um, I know we had a lot of like fast break points. That's really what we thrive off of. So getting the ball out quick, looking for easy easy layups to really kind of get our offense going. But I think I would give credit to our defense today. I think they only scored 11 points in the first quarter, and they weren't at a high shooting percentage. So I just think with just our defensive intensity, I think that's really what solidified us getting this win. Um, that's funny that you say that is um, Coach Zach was like, he told me after the game that you are like a scorer. You're not only a passer, yes, at the point guard position, but he told me when you can be a threat at the point guard position and pass, then it makes the team as a whole and yourself harder to guard. So I kind of had that in mind, especially with going into the game to be a lot more aggressive and not only be like a pass first point guard now, really trying to score and just make the team better. Because now if I come out there scoring, then it makes the passes a lot easier. It feels good, but I think it makes our defense better. Um, I think we, I think Coach Rich wants us to always be a defensive team, but like being a defensive team, it makes us a lot better on offense. So I didn't even know we broke the record for most threes in a game. That's that's amazing. But I think I still just got to give credit to our defense. I think that's where it starts, and it started right there. We're getting steals and getting easy easy buckets because I think once we got hot then it's like okay let's now let's get a stop and we got back-to-back stops and I think that really just gives us confidence and coach Zach was like you can't just shoot the ball you got to make it we're shot makers not shot takers so with that with having that in mind everybody was shooting the ball confidently 
So. Um, at first, what will go through my head is look up, see who's who's open. What's but now what goes through my head is um, score the ball, like look to score first, and then that brings the defense to me. Then now I can make an easier pass. But I think I would also give credit to our bigs, um, like Caitlin Wright, Kiara Johnson, Bianca Glover, um, Tess. Uh, you have Nari and then Allie all getting those defensive rebounds because once we get those, then that gives us an easy run out. They look for us right around the three point line, and we have easy run outs and then that makes my job easier to make a pass up to either scoop or mellow or even sky anybody running out the floor but i give credit to our bigs for getting those rebounds at first because that's where it starts yeah um, it's. I think it's difficult, um, not only on the body but also on the mind. I think it's hard to beat a. It's hard to beat a team twice. Hofstra's a really good team, so it's really hard to beat a team twice. I mean, we see it. I think Coach Zach said there's only one sweep in the in the conference so far, and now that makes two with us and against Hofstra. But I think it's hard to beat a team twice, so you just got to come in locked and focused every game.